Uh, my first thing to announce is I have switched from Minecraft 1.12.2 to 1.13, as well as Mythic Mobs versions, all the way up to uh, version 4.5.7. So you might notice some variables, some mechanics, some things like that may not be the same as they are in past versions. If you do notice this, uh, that is because I have finally updated my client and my plugin version. Most stuff will be compatible backwards, but however, there are some mechanics that have changed. We will get there uh, in the future, and I'll let you know exactly what they used to be, just in case you're still using 1.12. Now then, there are two things that these mechanics require. First off, you're going to need Vault. That is an essential plugin because that's what keeps track of player data. And economy, some sort of economy plugin. It can be any kind, doesn't really matter what. Essentials will work just fine as most servers generally already have these two plugins. So if you do, you are good to go. That being said, let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to go ahead and spawn in my pre made custom mod. He is going to be a bandit. Come on, look at me. Look at me, don't be shy. There we go, taking his time. So the first skill. Well, that is not the right button. The first skill is called Rob. Now this can be a two-way street here. You can have it to where he robs the target or he gets robbed. The way I have it set up right now is he gets robbed by us because it's going to be interacting with us whenever he takes damage. Now the way I have this set up, skills, currency give, amount equals one. He's going to exclaim, oh no, my money, and he is also going to send a message in the chat that's just a small little light blue message saying plus one dollar. Um, do know that the message here is not going to line up with how much he actually gives you. This is something you're going to have to put in on your own. But with that, let me go ahead and show you. So as you can see, boom, boom, boom. He just, um, you know, he's taking damage, he, we are stealing his money, I do balance, and as you can see, one, two, three, four, five, five dollars. So let me go ahead and reset myself here, you go reset mushroom status. One thing you can do to make this a little bit less spammy is add a modifier to it, so like 0 0.3 for 30 percent. Uh, of course it can be whatever you want, I just think 30 percent is just, you know, it's fine for the sake of this tutorial. Let me go ahead and reload. Here I am, I'm beating him up, trying to take his money. As you can see, it's got a pretty low chance, but there it goes. Oh no, my money. And now if I check my balance, it's now at $1, $2, $3, $4, you know, so on and so forth. But, you know, that's just a good way to prevent spam. Now, like I was saying before, you can entirely turn this around by switching the on damaged to on attack. And what you're going to do, you're going to switch currency give here to currency take. Um, you're going to want to switch the format on the message, assuming you're using one, to minus one dollar. You can use and C because that's generally what the display of that is. Um, it's kind of a bright red. So, what we're going to do, well, I'm not even going to mess with the message, but we're just going to go ahead and reload it. Let me check my balance here. It's still at four, so I'm going to let him hit me. Oh no, my money, and minus one dollar now. Let me heal myself before I die from that. I check my balance, I now only have one dollar. So that can work either way, it's entirely up to you guys how you want to do it. You could, maybe he could be a little treasure goblin, they just punch him and you just keep getting money until he dies, or he could be a bandit who keeps hitting you until you lose money and die. You can do it however you want. Next, we're going to go over a different skill here. Surprise reward. Now this can be nice if you want some sort of uh, random instance on your world. Basically, well, it's pretty straightforward. He's going to use this skill when the trigger interacts with him. Uh, you may have seen something like this before in my uh, Mythic Mob skinning tutorial with uh, Buddha Pig. What he's going to do, he's going to say, I heard you are a good man. Here, take my money. Wait one second, he's going to give you a dollar, and he's going to remove himself. Uh, you're going to want to set a cooldown 
equal to at least one second or more than what you have defined down here if you use the delay mechanic. You don't have to, but I think it's kind of cool for the sake of him talking and then disappearing rather than, you know, all of it just happening at the same time. But you're going to want to have the cooldown so that way players can't just spam him. Because what would happen if I had this set to zero, reload, I can just spam right click and boom, look at all that. Look at all of that spam. Of course I only got one dollar out of it because, you know, the delay. But it's still very spammy and can be easily exploitable. So delayed 20 means one second. Every 20 ticks is one second. So I have the delay or the cooldown set to two seconds so that way it surpasses the possible limit before he removes himself. So let me go ahead and reload. Let me spawn him back in. Uh, there it is. Go ahead and look at me now. Right click. As you can see, no more spam. So that's the easy way to prevent exploitation with that. Next is going to be relocate. All of my mechanics, by the way, are going to be pretty straightforward, so you know you can probably figure it out on your own. But what I have here is I have a new thing, a target condition. The reason it's set to target instead of just normal conditions is because it's going to be interacting with whoever is, well, interacting with it. So, since it's set that way, you're going to want to have target in front because it will check to see whether or not I have one dollar to my name. If it was set to conditions, it would be checking the mob itself, which mobs can't have money, so of course it would never activate, but since it's checking for me, I will have a dollar and it will teleport me to a preset location. This can be set to any world. You can set the pitch in yaw here. You'll see in a minute what I have it set to. It's going to take a dollar from me and it will send me a message saying it removed a dollar. So let me go ahead and reload that. And let me spawn my friend back in here. Let me make sure I have it set. Yes, I do. Okay. So. Boom. Here we go. As you can see, it teleported me. You can have it teleport you to a mob arena, PvP arena, special event like Easter maybe, because you know Easter did just pass, so if you still have that set up on your server, it might be kind of a cool thing to do, or any future events. You can make it do whatever you want. You can make even, you know, it can teleport somebody to a death pit if you so choose. So let me go ahead and spawn him back in. The reason it's important to have this, by the way, is what I'm going to show you now, because I... Okay, so I have two dollars. I'm gonna go ahead and reset myself here. As you can see, I'm right clicking him and nothing is happening. Well, that's because I don't have a dollar. Kind of sad when you think about it, but I do not have a dollar. So you will not use the skill unless I somehow earn money. Last, it's gonna be fairly the same. Uh, item give skill. Now, again, Target conditions has currency, at least one, that's what I have it set to. You can make it be whatever you want. You could even use equals greater than one or less than one, whatever you want to do with it. I'm just going to make sure I at least have a dollar, or I only have a dollar. And, well, what he's going to do, he's going to give me a custom item that I created. It's the head of a boss that I am working on, might showcase him in the future. And again, he's going to take a dollar and he's going to send me a message, only if I have a dollar. So, let me go ahead and reload him here. Right clicking, nothing's happening. Hmm, that's a shame, isn't it? So, let me go ahead and give myself a dollar here. Right click, and look at that. My new favorite face. Ladies and gentlemen, your creations are going to go far and we're going to get there together. If this video inspired you, please give it a thumbs up and press subscribe for more future goodness. If you have any questions or would like to see any mechanics covered, feel free to message me on Discord or leave a comment down below. My Discord link will be in the description. I can't wait to see what you come up with in the future.